Riley Sorola coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm in Kensington. And I'm gonna be showcasing a place called Sticky Fingers right here on Fillmore Gardens. Stay tuned because at the end of this episode, I'm gonna let you know whether to give this place a hit or a miss. Boom. <laughs> Sticky Fingers. This guy here introduced me to this place, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I did. Many years ago. Many, many years ago. So um, we're back here. Um, got a lot of um, Rolling Stones memorabilia all around the space. So yeah, it's been probably three, maybe three, four years since I the last so, time yeah. we came here. I think so, yeah. So I yeah, want to see whether it's still on par. The order's already in, so um, it's that time, guys to go to the little boy's room and show you exactly what stay is in. Let's go. Proper old school toilet. It's really, really old school in here. Look at the flooring, the walls, the tiling. But I actually kind of like it. But the mirror, mirrored ceiling. So quite a nice touch and it's very very clean in here but yeah it's pretty old school could do with some refurbishment so yeah it could do with some refurbishment but I think the most important thing is it's clean and fresh in here does the hand dryer work? yes it does does the basin work? yes it does, automatic it's a nice clean space. Anyway, it's time for me to go back upstairs and feast because I'm really hungry. Let's go. So, my guy Pete beat me to the punch. He's already digging into his wings. How are they? Baby back, rib stack. Oh, baby rat, rib stack. Mm. Got some sticky wings here. So, sticky fingers. So yeah, I'm licking my fingers. Very, very sticky. <laughs> so these are the baby back uh, stack. So a lot of meat on that bone. And it falls off nicely, isn't it? Mm. It falls off the bone. Really nice. This has got some kind of alcohol on it. I'm not sure if it's uh, some kind of bourbon. Mm. Mm. Pulled pork with a healthy measure of barbecue sauce and baby back ribs, apple coleslaw and fries. Try these fries. They're not, they're not, they're not piping hot. It's like they've been sitting there for a while. Mm. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit disappointed with that. It should be a lot warmer. I've got the mighty stuck burger, a little bit of coleslaw, and chips as well. But I've already started. I had some baby back ribs. Yeah, so I've already started. And, um, that's what's left of it. That was really nice, just like the starters. All right, so this is the pork pork. I'm gonna be honest. You don't need that. I'm trying again. A bit fed up with the flavour profile because it seems like they just season everything with the same sauce. Sauce. But the but the starter ribs, the the, the chicken, now the pulled pork, they all taste the same. And I'm starting to get a bit fed up. Fed up. Yeah. It's yeah. Too much. Too, too much. much. It's too much. Maybe I should have gone for like a burger, like you. Try the coleslaw. 
Mm. Quite like the coleslaw. It's quite sweet. Is it? Yeah. And it's got that apple. Let's have a go with it. Like little diced bits of apples in it. Tastes really sweet. So I am a fan of the apple. Um, the apple mm. coleslaw. Well, quite right. That's nice. Yeah, but I'm, I'm really disappointed with the chips because they're not seasoned well and they're not hot, they're just warm. Anyway, let's try the, the ribs. They do fall off the bone pretty easily. Very, very tender, very soft. I think, I think that's the best thing I've had here today. The baby rat ribs. I'm gonna really try, good. I'm gonna try my burger. That is a hench burger. I'm already doing it. No, I am jealous. Well, let's have a go then. That is a hench burger. You know this is the last time you're having this kind of treatment. Yeah? That's really nice. I wanna go for a second bite. You haven't even gotten into the patty. Well, at least I can take it home. Tenderness, succulent, quite delicious actually. I don't know what they've got in there. Yeah. Oh, it's the cheese. It's melted cheese. Red onion. Red onions. There's no sauce that I can see. All right, I'm done. Over to the final thoughts. All right, sticky fingers. So starting with taste, I have to say that I was pretty disappointed with the food, given the fact that I've been here before was a couple of years back, maybe management has changed, I don't know. But it seemed that every item on the menu, or most of the items on the menu, were seasoned the same, with the same sauces, with the same seasoning. It just got to a point where things became quite bland. They just seemed to go crazy with the barbecue sauce, and even the barbecue sauce itself isn't that great. So, you know, you go in there, initial bite seems like a good experience, but after you, you know, you've had a few bites, you realize, what it really is it's just one of those it's a typical chain well it's not a chain but it reminds me of a typical american chain that's you know all quantity no no real quality so on that basis i'm going to give taste a two and a half out of five now moving on to customer service the customer service was actually quite decent staff was very friendly very attentive um, we did take our sweet time to make up our minds I think I recall the waiter coming on four separate occasions uh, before we were actually ready to make our orders. And the food didn't actually take too long to arrive either. And given the fact that we were a, we were a big group, the food didn't take too long to come. However, the food didn't get delivered all at the same time. So certain dishes were served and then there was a short wait before other dishes were served. So that was a little bit frustrating, but overall it was decent. I'm gonna give customer service, I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five. Typical, you know, American diner in terms of space. It's quite spacious. I would say that the, you know, the seating arrangement is quite sensible. It's not cramped in there. And they have lots of, as I mentioned previously, memorabilia all around the space. It's a nice, decent look. Kind of reminds me of Hard Rock Cafe, actually. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty decent space. I'm going to give it a, I'll give it a four out of five. There wasn't anything that stood out that um, would put me off coming here again in terms of, you know, the hygiene. Everything looked clean. I uh, didn't really see much. Well, I didn't actually, I don't think I saw any crumbs or anything like that on any of the tables. The, the toilets, they were in a good space. I didn't get sight of the kitchen. But overall, it looked really good. So on that basis, I'm going to give cleanliness a five out of five. So on that basis, I'm going to give cleanliness a four out of five. Okay, so value. Now, from the top of my head, the bill came to about just over 200 plus pounds. I do recall that uh, myself and Tolls, we didn't order any drinks, we just ordered sparkling water and um, starters and mains. And I think our portion of the bill was roughly about 50, 60 pounds. 
I would say the value isn't great because although the portion isn't well, it isn't small, it is quite sensible. I would say uh, you know the food is not that great, it's quite bland. My fries were served cold, even the portion of the fries wasn't great. It was a chicken that was quite uh, plentiful. But having said that, I feel like the, the, um, the wings were actually quite expensive. They were, I would say they were high ticket items. Overall, yeah, I'd say this place isn't the best of value. Would I recommend this space? No, I wouldn't recommend this space. I don't know if this place has gone downhill or whether my my expectations have just gone through the roof through my, you know, my venture of trying out many different spaces. But um, on that visitation, I was not impressed. And even my mate who said that he really enjoyed his burger, once I switched off the camera, you could see that he was struggling and um, he didn't really enjoy that burger. He, he actually realized in the end it was quite bland. And I feel that that was the same sentiment with Toes and um, my mate's missus. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna give value a two out of five. Yeah, and I wouldn't recommend this space. So um, that's the end of my review. If you like the video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, comment below, share the video, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make videos every single week. So, till next time, Peace. Wow.